warp here. Now, by the time we get there, retrograde won't be quite the same place, but we'll be close. So that's going to be fine. And yes, Bob is on a slope, which is actually super duper awkward because this uh, design is not really meant. It, it's very, very like tall. So it's going to have a hard time dealing with that, but we'll see. All right, so I'm just going to let the ship turn to retrograde again. Again, I could be using built-in SAS stuff for most of this, but I like using the smart ASS. It's like just big, friendly buttons. And to change from like orbital retrograde to surface retrograde, you don't have to like mess around with the nav ball. So I find that handy. All right, we're going to start the retrograde burn here. And I don't know where we want to do it. I think I'm going to want it to like line up so that the blue spot is certainly overshooting Bob somewhere back here because then because we are going to hit atmosphere which is going to slow us down by a fair bit and if we're going to use the shoots um that's going to be a thing in any case i'm okay with overshooting more and then using the rest of my engines to do a full like horizontal braking maneuver a little bit more directly above here so we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes i don't know <laughs> i mean somewhere around here maybe Would've been funny if Quill had forgotten to add ladders. Well, I did. I didn't forget. We we added a couple ladders to make it easier for him to grab. But what we tested is we confirmed that on Duna, the rocket uh, pack that Bob has can lift him from the surface. So we're going to be reliant. Bob's going to have to fly up to the hatch. We threw a couple ladders in the area to make it easier for him to grab it onto, but he can't climb the ship. So this landing is probably going to take a couple of tries, if I'm honest, because this ship. Especially since we don't have the big landers, um, it's going to be a little bit wobbly. So it might be tricky to find the exact spot for us to land. Hopefully near Bob. Bob will have to do some walking. A, because I'm not going to be that accurate. Um, and B... Um, and B, uh, because we may not be able to land exactly where we'd like for Bob. Okay, I think... I think that's going to be that. So what's crazy is we have tons more fuel left in the nuclear engine. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go and we're going to dump those bits. We're going to do that just to give us a little bit more space here. I'm, I mean, I guess I could keep using these, but you know what? Keep burning off horizontal speed. It's fine. Switch to surface mode. I'm on horizontal velocity burn off mode right now. No, we, because, yeah, I'm actually, I am genuinely worried we're just going to overshoot things a little too much. And I'm wondering if I want to go into the next mode. Because the nuclear engine is so weak sauce. I'm worried we're going to overshoot our spot. Are we? Yeah. No, we're not even in the atmosphere yet. Yeah, I think we're going to have to do that. Kill you. Stage you. Light the next engine, which has a lot more thrust. And this is the actual descent stage. I've All the maneuvers I've been doing so far were actually with the stage that was just supposed to get us to Duna. Like, we're supposed to do all those burns in, inside a curb in orbit. I way, way overkilled the Delta V. So that's good. So we're going to come down a lot more directly onto landing spot, which is important because we're actually at risk of overshooting it. These engines have a lot more thrust to weight, though. And yet, I should have gone and uh, done this a little sooner. Ooh. You need a bit of a plus normal? No. Anti-normal. Anti-normal. You should rotate quickly. planet's running away from us at this point. I hadn't uh, changed my camera view, actually. Turns out that our uh, horizontal burn-off was probably a little... We probably burned off too much horizontal speed, but I couldn't tell from the angle that the planet was moving away from us that much. There we go. Alright, 
I would actually be happier if we were overshooting Bob a little bit more than we are. Well, no, maybe we're okay. Maybe we're fine. There's Bob. Hi. Hi, Bob. All right, let's quick save some more. Sure. Do, do, do. So, uh, you will be getting ready to potentially do surface retrograde. Next stage will actually be our um, drogue shoots, followed by our regular shoots, if we're even going to bother with them, which we may, I don't know. Come, Bob, everybody wave. The player landing here, because why not? And then at some point we eject those. Now, how's the fuel? Okay, this fuel tank is max, which is good. Excellent. Because for our ascent, we've planned everything. We need the middle one with the nuclear engines and the two side ones. So these might get dumped when they still have fuel in them, just because I'm worried that landing might be a little awkward, because they're a little low and I don't want them to explode. But we'll see. Oh, the option to keep this nav ball open, I, I need to reset. It's so annoying. You, like, have it open, you go to your main screen, then you go back to the map, and it closes that, and I'm like, no, that's not what I want. So again, currently we are looking to pass over Bob. We are well within the atmosphere, though. I mean, we're in the atmosphere. I don't know if well within is correct. Um, surface speed, we're going quite quickly. I think I could probably do some retrograde burn here. Just to kill off a little bit of our descent speed. Because I've got fuel to spare. Alright, kill some horizontal speed. We'll see if we can come straight down on top of Bob. I don't think we're going to use the parachutes. What's my actual horizontal speed? Okay, a little confusing. Um, I'm coming down really fast. Really fast. Come on, turn the right way. Pull the shoes. There we are. We're currently five kilometers and closing on him. I'm more worried about the fact that we're closing in on the ground quite quickly here. Horizontal speed is dropping, surface speed is dropping. We're three kilometers above the ground and 3.4 kilometers away from Bob. We're gonna land remarkably close to Bob. Remarkably close. We're leaving a lot of smoke behind. Oh, oh I didn't realize we'd stopped our speed completely. Whoops. <laughs> a little bit of a tumble because we're facing surface retrograde. So when we hit like zero surface speed, it flipped around. But that's okay. There you go. Surface speed is accelerating again. We are still two kilometers above the surface. We've got lots of time. God damn it. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking about ditching these engines here. Because again, I'm worried they're hanging a little low and they're going to hit the ground. And we don't need them. Or do we? How is the power? Uh, electric charge is fine. Yeah, we are on the dark side, which is less than great, but... Okay, lead off some of the speed here. It's 500 meters. Slow little burn. Right, because it's atmospheric. You don't get the smoke effect when you're coming in on, on uh, the moon. Okay, we're going to be 1.6 kilometers. I mean, I could burn sideways, but we're going to make Bob hike. He hasn't gotten much exercise. He's just been sitting in his pod, eating what's left of his snacks, if he's got any. Um, you're going to point, make sure you're locked up. Okay. Speed is dropping. Be nice to have a shadow. Making a note here, huge success! <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. Woo! -hoo. And yeah, we don't need to transfer fuel. All the fuel is where it should be, which is great. We landed with these. 
<laughs> our our solar panels never um oh these are the perma extended ones and they're going through these which is a little bit weird but <laughs> woo we did it we did it we did it the internet the other solar panels retracted which is good and fine and awesome wonderful lovely i didn't realize i had these solar panels down here which is kind of i guess i had i intentionally originally intended them to rip in rip away when we landed i don't know it could be all right kill the ass just settle nicely. Brilliant. Save. Can I switch over to Bob from here? I can! <laughs> Bob! Bob! Get out! You can do it, Bob! See, you gotta, you gotta jog a little bit. It's fine. Um, so, there's a run key. I mean, I guess you can hold shift to run. Okay, let's... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're fine. Shush. Time warp me. Physics warp. Wee! And then run. Wee! You can do it, Bob! Home is not that far away. If Mark Watney can drive halfway across Mars, you can run for 1.5 kilometers in like 60% gravity. You're fine. Any science to grab? I think it all got transmitted. Although, you know, there's something to be said. We might be able to um, actually get more surface samples. <laughs> EVA report. So the little ends we've got. We might actually cross a different um, a different biome along the way. Like, we didn't have any science to grab from the ship because it all got transmitted because it was never intended for us to bring him home. It was supposed to be a one-way trip. Uh, but the PR turned out to be pretty bad. Um, so that's why we had to send this freaking quarter-million-dollar mission to go and rescue Bob. You better pick up some rocks along the way. He's going to keep stopping to pick up something shiny. So what biome we in now? Little ends. Okay, that's not new. There might not be anything new along the way. Da, 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 da. Sonic fast, yeah, but that's what we need the music for. And he, when he's picking up surface samples, you need to do like the sonic rings, ding, 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 ding. And if you like, if he falls or smacks himself into a rock, then uh, we'll have to do the ring explosion. Pling, pling, pling. Jeb, I just arrived to not Jeb, Bob. This is Bob, Bob the scientist. He's doing a lot of science on Duna. He knows Duna at least you know the the twenty feet around his capsule more than anyone else. Da, 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 da. I can't believe we landed within this close, actually. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. <laughs> save Bob. Run, Bob. Run. <laughs> save, Bob. Save. We got, like, lots of debris. We got little rocks and stuff lingering around. Excellent. Okay. Um, any chance you're in a different uh, biome? Nope. Still lowlands. <laughs> It'd be really upsetting if we actually never visit another biome here. On this run, but it's probably pretty likely. Did it, something's gonna go up, blow up because of the physics warp? It's possible. What I should do now that I'm halfway, let's do another little quick save and then go again. Bob could suddenly like, like trip and start like a weird like physics explosion and send himself out into space or something. Weirder things have happened. Did Bob, Bob plant a flag? Yes, he did. I think he planted two actually. I don't remember. Still Lowlands. <laughs> Sanctimus sent in a tip that just says, I lost a bet. GG. Did you guys think this wasn't going to I mean, we haven't gotten him home yet. <laughs> so much can still go wrong. Have faith in the Kerbal-like system of things going horribly, horribly wrong. Everywhere you look, you see red. Yep. There's Lowlands all the way. There's the rescue craft! <laughs> now we're going to have to tell them to strip it down and turn it into a convertible. It's fine. It's fine. Hurt. Woohoo! All okay. right. On physics time warp. Da 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 da. A little bit of swagger in his step. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm going home. Wee. Do 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 do. Boop. A nice thing is Bob knows how to program probe cores, so we actually aren't gonna be um, concerned with losing signal anymore. Now, we did test this. Let's hope this is still true. We can fly up, up. And away! It's not the same as flying on the moon. Or certainly not like flying on Minmus. Come on, go up, 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 up. You can do it. You can do it. Grab. Yes. Yes. Board. Woohoo! We have successfully transferred Bob into the Hogan. The Hogan 1 over here. Oh, he's going to run a system check, make sure that everything is okay. 
We'll be taking off. We're still using some of our landers over here. I mean, we got to remember, we had a whole other nuclear engine full of fuel we never, ever even really used. Um, these landings still have some fuel in there, which is great to see. Um, oh, we got a milestone for performing a crew transfer in Duna. That's really exciting. Just uh, out of curiosity, if we did a uh, crew report here. Yeah, it's still Lowlands. All right. Wonderful. If all this fails, you can jetpack back home. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah. All right. So, um, ideally at this point, we'd like to get into a standard equatorial orbit, um, which actually isn't so bad to do. So what I'm going to do is basically thrust her upwards and then try to um, orientate myself to the east, which the easiest way to do that is probably to prep a surface command. Uh, heading 90, pitch something like 45 degrees. I'm not going to hit execute right now. So right now I'm just going to use the regular SAS and we're gonna go straight up. And then I will execute this. So we will go eastwards at 45 degrees. Excellent. The atmosphere on, on Duna is thin enough that this should be fine. There's something to be said about, that was a little rough, uh, about, oh, it's probably because of the solar panels, about taking up a bit more vertically to get out of the, um, the thicker Dunian atmosphere a little bit sooner, but I feel like it's probably thin enough that it's not really a problem. Oh, the antenna is broken. Oh, well, I guess it's not that thin, the atmosphere, but this should still hopefully be okay. Yeah, probably should start it a little bit more vertically, a little bit longer, but that's going to be all right. So just keep raising the apoapsis. Oh, um... Activate that as well. And the fuel in here should be staying max as it's transferring out of the sides. Yeah. So once the apoapsis is above 50, we're definitely going to hit space. Uh, I think I'm just going to go to horizontal level at this point, burn directly sideways which is just going to help us circularize a bit more. I'll probably kill it when we get to 60 kilometer apoapsis. And actually, let me go ahead and... Oh, this is fine. We're going we're gonna... to... Oh, there we go. We're going to end up with uh, some oxidizer to spare because of the way I'm transferring things in, but that's okay. Nuclear engine for such a small craft is so... Inter fine shut you're right though you're right because we we are, are have a lot of weight here for the nuclear engine as opposed to the fuel itself so you're right that is actually really well it is using the extra stuff from over here and in fact what we can do now is explicitly shut down these two engines and just use the nuclear engine here so we've got the extra weight from these now all of a sudden we've got a decent amount of liquid fuel for the one nuclear engine so i think we're okay i don't know who knows at this point? Watch, watch this be the thing that destroys us. So uh, you'll be going to prograde. We'll um, have we made a hard save in a while? Just in case, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Oh, uh, and right, I can't time warp yet because we're still in the atmosphere. So we just gotta cruise to sixty thousand and we'll circularize. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, that is kind of silly. If anything, I would have wanted to double up on the liquid, and then it starts to become a lot more reasonable. Okay. 40,000. Well, dude, Bob is really happy, because for the first time in... It's probably been, like, five years for him. So it's a little over five years. The mission timer got reset. We could still check the mission time of the old mission previously, but it's been five years... Well, no... Because it took him a while to get here. So he's, his mission's probably been going on for five years. He's probably been on Duna for about four years. It's the first time in four years that he's left the surface of Duna. He's really excited. You know. Worst case scenario, we get, you know, sort of stuck orbiting the sun. We have to do another rescue mission. <laughs> Bob Rescue Mark II. Alright. So. Just gonna sort of 
not I'm not literally gonna use this maneuver I'm using it to figure out a general time so yeah about about 65 second burn so if we start about you know 30 and change seconds before the um, the apoapsis which this is not directly on but basically just about right before the apoapsis we'll start our burn and circularize a bit and then try to get our bearings Oh no, Bob will get back to Kerbal to find out that Crump won the election. <laughs> it's been hard. We've been trying not to spoil him about things. The election, the ending to his favorite TV show. Oh, we need like, we need K-puns for TV show names that he wouldn't want to have spoiled. Like, I don't know what TV shows have ended within the last, you know, few years that, that Bob would not know how it ended. I don't know, like, I'd make a Serenity thing, but that was like... That's like something like 12 years ago at this point. It's ridiculous. The Cubs winning. Cubs with a K. Spell it right, Nicholas. Yeah, there you go. Cubs. Exactly. Craking Cad. Yeah. I know. That might be a little hard. Burn Notice. Oh, Game of Crones. A <laughs> Game of Crones sounds like a word, you know? That's good. I like that. Okay, one minute to Apoapsis. So we're going to start with about 35 seconds. We're going to hit go. Electric charge is fine, even though we have no... The Flash? Well, the Flash hasn't ended. It's the th he wouldn't have even seen the start of it. I met your cutter. Hmm. Nintendo broke. He has nothing to watch on his way home. That's true. That's true. He's going to be even more bored than he was. All right. We're about ready to go. And we are go for circularization burn. Lovely. Lovely. Maybe Bob wants to land on Ike. He can just stay there for another four years. <laughs> Game of Crones takes place in a nursing home. <laughs> That's great. Now I want a whole like, like weird like fan fiction based on this other thing. Like, replace the wall with something. Replace you know, um, uh, like every like every province, every you know, area, every kingdom. Replace them with like you know, this is the the common room, the this, the that. place where they play the puzzles. How I met your Kerbal. The Nark, the, the Kark Knight trilogy, or the Nark, the, even just the Dark Knight trilogy with the K in there is like, is not bad. Time to apoapsis is increasing, which means we actually burned a little earlier than we needed to, which is fine. And the periapsis, as long as, as soon as it's over 50, we are good to go. Boom. No, damn it! Every time I hit the keys when I moused over one of these windows, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't register because it eats the keybind for different things. All right, we now have Bob in orbit around Duna. Now, oh, yeah, we have no control. Wait. I can't plan maneuvers when I don't have control. I mean, I can still steer. Is it because Bob's not a pilot? That would be new. Bob's not a pilot. Oh, that's new. Oh, I like that. That's great. Because it used to be like, there was literally no point to ever using the pilot. You would just, it was much better to send a scientist who could reset experiments with a probe core. But now if the probe core also needs a signal, like a signal thing, and we broke our antenna, we can't plan maneuvers anymore. That's fine. That's fine. Bob's like, no, you know what? I'm not letting this stop me. We're flying by the seat of my pants. We can still steer. Because Bob can still steer. He doesn't need to plan maneuvers. No, Bob's got this shit. He spent five years, like, doing the Mark Watney thing, you know, writing on the board in the background. He's going to science the shit out of this. Okay. Except it does annoy me that I can't get rid of this. It's just like this little wart on my UI here that I just can't purge. Mm. So we had control for a while. I guess this satellite is within range of us. We're within range of the satellite. We um, we just don't have line of sight. So once we have line of sight, we'll be able to clear that. But that's okay. Maneuvers? Pff, who needs maneuvers? Um, okay. So I got some bad news for Bob. I get some bad news for Bob. Uh, we can't go. We can't go home yet. <laughs> He's going to be in orbit around Duna for probably about a year and a half. 
Because we have to wait for the transfer window again. <laughs> Kerbin's not in the right place. If if Duna is here, we need Kerbin to be here. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> poor Bob. <laughs> uh, so, um, I mean, again, we can just eyeball it. But let's just, for our sanity, we will, um, uh, the transfer node. I mean, it, the angle that I've described is what we're waiting for. But if I do this, so we're going from Duna to Kerbin, which is the same transfer window as from Kerbin to Duna. So one year and 144 days. Like I said, a year and a half. <laughs> and it's still going to take him like another, like half to like two thirds of a year to actually make the trip from Duna to Kerbin. 